I don't understand it either, Chief Inspector. It all happened so quickly. No, I am all right. I only have a bump on my head. But I don't think the journalist did it. I know how it looks, but if he had done it, he wouldn't have let me live. Yes, I understand. I'll find him. You can count on that. He must explain many things that could help us. I'm aware of that, and therefore I'm not going to disappoint you, sir. Right now, I'm going to question another witness. A man named Timothy Moore. No, Timothy! I'll keep you well informed, sir. To put it in your own words, you won't have to read it in the newspapers. Goodbye. Enter. Prisoner Timothy Moore at your command, sir. Send him here. Take his handcuffs off and wait at the door. Please, sit down. I'd prefer to stand, if you don't mind. You know, I've been sitting for quite a long time now. All right, as you wish. I'm not going to waste my time. So, what did you want to tell me? Well, first of all, I'd like to know whether we can make a deal. I don't negotiate with people like you. Maybe not under normal circumstances, but now you don't have any other option. So, if the information I have will help you, I want a shorter sentence. Is that what you want? All right. I promise I'll put in a good word for you with the judge. I can't promise anything more. Okay, I'll trust you. I'll tell you exactly how everything happened. You'll learn why I went to the cemetery that night and what I saw there. What a nice fairy tale. Can you prove it somehow? My friend Brian is imprisoned here too. Ask him about Adieu Jack. He knows where you should look for him. So you think that this Jack is behind all this? Why is he called Adieu? I have no idea, but he was there with his gang. I'd heard him in the pub before and then Brian and I ran away from him. I dragged the bench to the wall so I could climb over it. Ah, that bench. That makes sense. May I see your shoes? Extraordinary. Your souls match one of my plaster casts. So you really were there. I'm not lying, detective. I'm really telling you the truth. I swear on my life. All right. I will try to find this, Jack. You can go back to your cell now. Don't forget what you promised me. Officer, escort the prisoner back to his cell. I don't need him anymore. Get up. I need to talk to you. I don't need you anymore. How do you want me to have a heart attack, detective? Calm down. We have adieu, Jack. Your accomplice cooperates with us willingly, too, but we now need a favor from both of you. Go on. Jack doesn't want to speak. We can't get a single word out of him. I want you to find out what happened at the cemetery after you ran away. And how should I do that? Did you see the size of him? Your transport to the prison will be here in an hour. You will all be together. You, Brian, and Jack. You will share the cell, so you'll have plenty of time to make him trust you. I'll come to see you tomorrow, around noon. By that time, you should already know something. Hopefully. But do you really think we should go out in this weather? Yes, I do. And don't you dare do anything stupid. My entire career rests on you. I have no other choice. But, as a reward, I can help to reduce your sentence. That is the only thing I can offer. 
I accept, Detective. They'll be here in an hour, so get ready. Enter. What do you want? Bad news, sir. The prisoner's transport didn't arrive at the prison. We sent the patrol to find it, but they only found an empty coach. The prisoners have escaped. Son of a bitch. What? When did it happen? Ha ha! How come I didn't know anything about this? Chief what? Inspector Powell ordered so, sir. And one more thing, sir. The coachman and the guards were killed. They were strangled. No, that cannot be true. So he already knows. He will call you. I was instructed to tell you so that you can be ready for it, sir. Thank you, officer. You can go now. So now it's all over. This is the end of my career. It was horrible. Two people had to die so that we could be free. I still can't get it out of my mind. Jack pretended to be in pain, so the coachman stopped the coach. He killed him with his bare hands. I have no idea how he did it. After that, he took us to a place where we drank all night. At least I think so. I have a terrible headache. And I'm stiff. And the worst thing is that I don't have the slightest idea where I am. What is it now? Damn, this isn't funny. Help! Shh! I'm trying to think. Brian, what's up? You can see it, can't you? Jack fooled us. He got us drunk and tied us up. It was hardly a difficult job. But why did he do that? I don't know, but if he comes back, I'll kill him, I promise. <laughs> Brian, how long have you been away? I'm not sure. I have a terrible headache. And have you figured something out? Yeah. Move your legs slowly and pass me a candlestick. What candlestick? It's right next to your leg, idiot. Just do as I say and we'll get out of here. So move. We'll get out of this. Brian will come up with a plan. I can't see it. But if Brian says it's there, then it's definitely there. I can't see it. I can't see it. Damn! What? You screwed up. I can't reach it now. It wasn't my fault. Be quiet, somebody's coming. You bloody bastard. Shut up! You shouldn't have sent the police against me. And you shouldn't have been snooping around at the cemetery. Don't think I don't know about it. You bastard. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna introduce you to somebody. He's called the Night Rider. And he doesn't like squealers, just like I don't either. Stop being rambling and inject them. I want to see what it's going to do to them. Shouldn't I rather kill them? No. As you wish. 
Had you? Don't be stupid. We can talk about this. Just throw the needle away. What have you done to him, you bastard? I'll kill you. Do you hear me? You won't kill anybody. Go to hell! Did I just die? Nice performance, adieu. It was quick, just as I like it. Now, take them someplace far away. To Gallows Hill, for instance, and bury them there. Why so awkward? We can throw them in a canal. No, there are policemen around the canal. They've already found the doctor. As I told you, you'll bury them under the gallows. They don't deserve anything else. And very deep. Understood? It's ridiculous. 